good morning good afternoon good evening friends today we are going to discuss on max support interview questions and answers so these interview questions are most asked i can say it is 100% asked interview questions for application support engineers who are mainly supporting max systems as well so as a support engineer you require to know many operating systems like windows operating system mac operating system and others too so this video will focus on mac operating system and mac operating system support interview questions so watch this video till end if you want these interview questions plus application support interview questions free of cost then please subscribe the channel click on bell icon and send me mail on complexsql@gmail.com you will get all the interview questions at free of cost i have given it to many many people many people got the access of those video uh, interview questions at free of cost so don't hesitate to mail let's get started the first interview question what steps would you take if mac is running slowly so if mac is running slowly what steps would you take first check the software updates and ensure that the mac operating system is up to date first we are required to check the updates next review the activity using activity monitor to identify resource heavy processes you required to check resource heavy processes if any check for sufficient disk space clear cache files and consider disabling unnecessary startup items and checking for the malware so there might be the chances of malware as well so you have to check that malware as well lastly consider adding more ram or upgrading to ssd if hardware limitations are the cause okay so sorry i am taking some coffee in between next is how would you troubleshoot a mac that won't start up how would you troubleshoot mac that won't start up so uh, start by the performing a safe boot by holding down the shift key during the startup so if you you are using macbook or any other system then you require to hold back the shift key during the startup if mac it still does not start then reset sme that is system management controller and pram and nvram ensure the power supply is working and try using different power cables if these these steps fail then boot into the recovery mode that is command dot r recovery mode is for mac is command dot r and use the disk utility to repair the disk third interview question what would you do if mac screen is flickering that flickering screen option is for windows 2 but there are different steps to mac check the software updates and install them if available restart the mac in safe mode to see if, uh, if flickering persist which can help to identify if startup item or extension is causing the issue reset the pram and nvram and smc if the issue still persist in mac operating system P, pram nvram and smc these are the important parts okay if the issue still persist connect an external display to see if it's hardware problem and finally consult the apple support for further diagnostics if you can't solve that issue but if you follow these steps mostly that issue will get resolved next interview question how would you resolve a mac that is not connecting to wifi sometimes you face the issue of wifi connection right so how to uh, how to troubleshoot that thing restart the mac and wifi router that is the first step restart the mac and wifi router ensure the wifi is turned on in system preferences and network system preferences and network that is the path okay forgot the network and reconnect just try it just like a windows reset smc and pram and vram try using different user account to see if the problem is user specific if these steps fail delete recreate the wifi configuration file found in slash library slash preferences slash system configuration okay you required to check that file library preferences system configuration next is how do you troubleshoot a mac that is 
not charging sometimes charger issues there charging some mac um, mac is not uh, charging so what do you require to do first and foremost thing is you require to check the power adapter and cable if any visible damage is there most of the times the visible damage is there and that's why uh, the uh, physical damage is there that's why the uh, uh, the charger is not working try different power outlets reset smc inspect mac safe and usb c port for debris and clean if necessary if battery condition is shown service recommended in system information the battery may need a replacement more many times the battery may need the replacement so you require to check that as well lastly test with another known working charger if possible if you have any other charger you can check that with another working charger okay next is what should you do if an application is unresponsive on mac so you require to use force quit option plus command plus escape to close the application if application is frequently becoming unresponsive check for the updates for that app if there are any updates new updates came for that app you require to check that reinstall the app if necessary check the console logs for any specific error messages ensure that system meets the application requirements has enough resources to run it smoothly sometimes application requirement is different we are trying to run it on different physical environment so that's why these kind of issues will come next question how would you handle the mac that is not recognizing an external drive answer for the same check the condition and try different port or cable ensure the drive is powered if required external power use the disk utility to see if the drive appears there and try to mount it manually reset smc prm and nvram check system information under usb or thunderbolt to ensure the mac recognizes the port finally check if drive works on another mac or pc okay so these are some steps how would you troubleshoot a mac that is not updating sometimes mac operating system is not updating and there are issues when uh, you are getting new operating system versions right so how to troubleshoot that, that those check the network connection to ensure it's stable ensure the first you require to check the network connection this requires to be stable connected to wi-fi most of the times ensure that there is enough free space on mac for the update sometimes the free space was not available on mac that is the key issue restart the mac and try updating again check apple system status page to see if update servers are down sometimes apple update servers are also down so that might be the issue as well use safe mode to try updating if the issue still persists download the update from apple website and install it manually okay so these are few steps you require to take care what is your approach to resolve the kernel panics on the mac sometimes kernel panics are there on the mac note the error message and log details that is first important thing restart the mac and check the software updates put it into safe mode to determine if issue still persist which can help to identify problematic software there are few some problematic softwares as well due to that kernel panics will happen check recently installed hardware and software for compatibility run apple diagnosis d key at startup to check the hardware issues are there if needed then you require to reinstall, reinstall the mac operating system but that is the last step if you can do all the steps you will find out the cause and resolve the issue how do you fix a mac keyboard that is not responding this is also important the mac keyboard that is not responding check the connection for wired keyboards or battery wireless ones try different usb port restart the mac reset the smc and pram and nvram 
check system pre preferences keyboard to ensure the setting are connect correct test the keyboard with another mac or try another keyboard with problematic mac to isolate the issue okay if keyboard is not working there might be the issues in the software or there might be the issue in the keyboard so you require to do the further steps accordingly what steps would you take if max bluetooth is not working sometimes bluetooth device is not working for the mac so restart the mac and bluetooth devices that is the first step you require to take care of then turn bluetooth off again in system preferences remove repair the bluetooth devices that is second step reset bluetooth model whatever you are doing it for on your apple device okay you require to do the same steps reset the bluetooth module option shift click but you don't have the keyboard in apple device so that is the new step reset bluetooth module option shift click bluetooth icon debug and remove all the devices and reset the bluetooth module okay if problem still persist reset the smc or pram or nvram that is the last step how would you address the mac speaker not working so these are simple simple issues sometimes bluetooth is not working sometimes speakers are not working so how to deal with that check the volume settings and ensure that mute option is not enabled sometimes mute option is enabled that's why your speakers was not working go to the system preferences sound ensure the correct output device is selected test the sound with different applications that is also important to troubleshoot that restart the mac or reset the p ram or nv ram if external speakers or headphones work the internal speakers may need repair what it next interview question is what would you do if safari is not loading the pages on mac sometimes browsers of mac are not working so safari is the default browser of mac operating system you might see in the uh, your apple iphones as well so what do you require to do check the network connection clear the safari's cache and cookies that is first step disable the extensions and try loading pages again reset safari to default settings ensure mac operating system and safari are up to date if problem still persists then check dns issues and use different browser to see if issue is specific to safari or issue is with mac operating system okay sometimes there is issue with operating systems too how do you troubleshoot a mac that is overheating sometimes overheating issues are there right so you require to ensure the mac events are not blocked and clean okay check activity monitor for resource heavy processes sometimes there are resource heavy processes are there that's why all the resources are running fast and it will create or generate the heat okay so you require to check that activities as well terminate more the the, the processes if necessary Reset the SMC, ensure that Mac is running the latest Mac operating system version. Sometimes there is issue with operating system versions too. Okay. You can do that. Consider using cooling pad. If overheating persists, it might, might be the hardware issue. And contacting Apple support will necessary will be helpful. Okay. So last interview question for Mac operating system. How do you fix a Mac that keeps crashing? Start by identifying the pattern or specific action causing the crashes because you require to find out the root cause. Root cause is important over here. Put it into safe mode to see the problem occurs which can help to identify software issues. Check the Mac operating system and application updates. Run this utility to repair the disk and reset smc pram and vram review crash logs in console for specific errors if possible so these are few steps if the, those are not working fine then there might be the hardware issue so if you suspect any hardware issue run apple diagnostics okay that is important these questions and answers cover range of common Mac issues and provide foundation for troubleshooting as well as resolving them.
okay so these are 15 most important interview questions for mac operating system specifically i have designed for mac because some of the audience has asked me that they require some interview questions on mac operating system which are related to support engineering so i have created this video hope you like this video if you like this video kindly subscribe the channel click on bell icon if you want interview questions at free of cost please subscribe the channel click on bell icon and send me mail on complexsql at gmail.com after verifying your subscription i will provide you all the interview questions related to support Related to L1, L2, L3 support free of cost for exclusively for you. Thanks again for watching this video till end. Cheers.